the treatments. They're losing their effectiveness. There's no changing the inevitable. Time is just one closed loop. And no matter what I do, time ends. I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? This is Dr. Amaral's report. The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What is that? A cruel undisrupted life form. Extremely hostile. It's Dr. Kim. Let's go! Let's go! No, 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 no. Put one of those on! Yeah. And what did Burke want with it? Well, I don't know. I don't even know what the lifeboat protocol is. It's a sanctuary designed to shelter a list of monarchs' essential personnel to weather the storm until they can develop a solution. Essential personnel. So that means that I'd be on that list, right? Not under Paul Serene's lead, you wouldn't. He's failed to see the value in his own people, too consumed with grand ideals and delusions. You know what I find to be the most terrifying notion of this planet? The idea of God, simply the idea of being with that much power, the ability to take and give so freely, that kind of control, but should be feared, not worshipped. Yet people believe in it, just as people believe in Paul Serene. You see, what's so scary about God? Isn't his control, but rather, if he ever lost it, Paul Serene's become unhinged, Charlie. He's triggered a catastrophe. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things end. In the end of time. And this is where we come in. We risk too much leaving the keys to the kingdom in one man's hands. We need insurance. There's something called the CFR. It's a crucial key to our survival and must remain safe. But as long as Paul is the only one with access to it, it isn't. With access to the CFR, I would take over, get Monarch back on track, and once I do, restructuring would be in order, Charlie. Restructuring that would see you as my right hand. I'd be on the list. Absolutely.
then I need to go back to Monarch. And that sort of privilege escalation it can only be done from the inside. Put the island on lockdown, but the pump house on the west side has an old supply tunnel that runs beneath the bay. No one knows about it. You'll go unseen. Time is of the essence, Charlie. You better get to it. Yeah. Commander Davis. Yes, sir. Head to the perimeter lab. We're moving forward. The frequency of the stutters is still unpredictable, but they're persistent. Erratic, but persistent. I need certainty. If I initiate the protocol, there's no going back. Mr. Serene, something like this. There is no certainty. We've never dealt with it before. How long? We've been running Dr. Amaral's simulations. It's hard to say without her to confirm, but... Just give me a time. Joyceville could collapse within eight hours. <sighs> Mr. Serene, if you're going to proceed, now would be the time to decide. <laughs> Time's ending, just like you said. And the lifeboat protocol, it's a place. They built it to protect people from the fracture. And the only problem is, is, is there's a list and anyone who's not on it is, is pretty much fucked. But if we make it back to the mainland, I, I can get us on the list. All of This them. entire island is on lockdown. How are we gonna do that, Charlie? But there's a tunnel. All right, if you are lying to me this time, I swear to God. No, get off! Tired as shit. I don't know why you're doing this, but I don't have to put your name on shit, motherfucker. What'd you do to him? He's fine. I'm gonna tell you why you're gonna put me on that list. I got a pregnant wife at home, and she's the only thing that I am thinking about right now. So if you get in the way of me protecting her, I swear to fucking God, next time, you will not catch your breath. Lead the way. Dr. Amaral. So 
world in my streets. So, he said, here we are. Five minutes out, Mr. Hatch. What is that? Not sure. He was playing when we came in. Into the darkest dungeon, located in the soft depth of the... Come to free you, my friend. This imprisonment, it's unsettling. It's time for you to rejoin the others, to return to the infinite. You okay? Yeah. Hey, yeah. I'm good. We need to get... Get on the fucking ground! Hey, ground! No, 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 we're with Monarch! What don't you hey, understand? No, get on the ground! Hey, hey, no, no, no. Hey, I'm the one that called it in. I'm Hatch's guy. Wincott. Yeah. Where's she? She's... Cronon scientist. She's important. We have to get her back to Monarch right away. Please. Get the fuck out of here. Now! Yeah. Gibson, I got burned. Fiona! Fiona! Fiona, you gotta listen to me. Hey! Ah. Oh, shit, you killed him! Fuck! Hey! I didn't know that they were gonna kill him. What was I supposed to do? Huh? You let me on and then you kidnapped it isn't me. It's about you, Charlie! Are you stealing this car? Just get the fuck out of here. No, you're gonna need me. I got what I needed out of you. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. Why don't you open your eyes? The world is about to end. I'm trying to do something. Yeah, you're a real hero. Fuck you. No. 
nurse, huh? I'll see you there. Burke. You fuck. Commander Davis? Davis and his team. They were all good men. Monarch's finest. Paul. Paul. What about my treatments? I'm afraid so. You know what this means. You don't know for sure. That... I'm a dead man! Jack. He wants me to become him. He wants me to suffer. Until the end. Joyce and Wilder. But what was troubling me is who got them in the Kim's lab. She paid a visit while she was thought to be missing. She knew where your treatments were kept. She knew the complexities of your illness. But she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. She created them. And then she took them away. I need her found now. And what would you like done with her? I'll decide that when she's brought to me. you could make it. I was just telling your girl here how concerned about you we've been. Emily, we need to go. Go? What's the rush? Ugh! <laughs> 
Emily, give me the keys. Give me the keys, Get away from me. Get away. Emily, listen. No. Listen, no. please. Please, please. No. This is not who I am. This is not. I'm telling you, I never felt good doing this. I, I never, I never felt good doing this. But it's the only thing I knew how to do. And when I got back, I couldn't, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything to do. And Monarch, they found that useful. And they put me to work. I swear to God, I couldn't, I couldn't stand, I couldn't stand being alone. So, so every Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I would, I would walk down the street because it was the only two nights at the bartender. And she wasn't at school. And I told myself every night to ask you what. It took me a fucking year. And like, if Mom, I could, if they gave me structure. You gave me purpose. I did this to protect you. I did this to protect us. Our family. I did this to protect our family. But I'm leaving. You have to listen to me. Something terrible is coming. And I will explain to you on the way, but we have to move. We have to move right now. If you will just let me. If you will just let me protect you. On my side. Please. Please. This is me. It's me. It is me. Okay. We have to go. We have to go right now. Okay. It's Beers. I'm at the perimeter lab. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. I want him apprehended. Immediately. 